Hello everyone, welcome to Search Online Academy. Uh, this is Ege Chumana. Today team, I'm going to take you through this question that was sent to me. Uh, on this question, we are actually being asked to convert the fragment of C uh, code, which is a for loop, to its equivalent code in what? Uh, in a MIPS or in our assembly language. So we are going to use this uh, code and we are going to convert it to MIPS. So we've got a for loop team which have actually i which will be starting from 100 and then it will terminate uh, it will terminate whenever our i is less than or equal to 200 and inside our for loop we are just adding uh, we are just initialize our j with uh, the value of i plus one here so we are also being asked to use uh, register t0 as the variable i as well as using the register t1 is the variable j so this is what we are going to solve team so let's dive into our code and see uh what we are actually how are we going to do it so in our code here team if actually there is this uh there is this data section where you actually put all your data that you are going to use uh, in your program and then there is this the text section where you actually put the actual code that you are going to use so here team uh, we are just going to declare t0 uh, t2 here and we just put it 200 in t2 we are going to use this value to see if our i is now less than or equal to 200 then we do something and whenever our i is now more than 200 then we terminate so also we we'll put a t0 here team which is also our counter and is also our i we are actually we have been actually asked to use uh t0 as i so we are going to use li which is load immediate value in our variable in our um, register t0 and we load the value 100 this is the immediate value that we are going to load in t0 so initially our i starts from what from 100 that's why i put 100 in a 20 and then from there i'm going to use this one this list that uh this set less than uh if equal we are going uh, if less than equal which is set less or equal this one is set less or equal so we are just going to set um in t3 we are going to set one if t0 is less than t2 otherwise it will be equal to what it you it will be equal to zero we set this one to zero so uh how this is going to work here team look uh here is it 100 less than uh, or equal to t2 if yes let's put a one here and then we'll come here and use the branch on equal branch if equal so if t3 is equal to zero then you are done with our loop we we'll jump from here and then we we'll go to the end of the program and then we we'll do a cisco 10 just to end our program if t3 uh, if t3 is not equal to zero then we will do this uh logic where we are actually going to where we are actually asked to initialize our j with i plus one our j here is actually represented by t1 so we are going to add t0 uh we are going to add one to t0 and then we put the value in our register t1 so after doing that we are going to increment our i right our i is what is t0 so we are going to say uh, t0 is equal to t0 plus 1 so we are going to increment the value of, three, of t0 by 1 here it's t0 team i'm sorry it's t0 which is our what our i we are going to increment our i by 1 after increment we are going to use the jump loop uh, the jump um, instruction where we will be actually jump to loop which is here we jump to this label which is here so we loop here and then when we actually came here we'll see if t3 is less than uh, if t0 is less than t2 so if t0 is less than t2 it is less than or equal to t2 we will set this one to one and then we'll do this because the one will be actually not equal to zero 
so we will not actually jump to end so whenever this value is now more than this value which means this one will be forced so we set t3 to what to zero so whenever um this t3 is equal to zero we will jump to the end of our program which will be here so when you reach this label we will do a cisco 10 which will be actually uh, to terminate our pro our program so this is how do you do this uh problem this is how do you solve this problem so there is the advanced way that i've actually so that you see uh what we are doing here so i've actually come up with this one we will be actually printing the values of j so that you see what we will be actually doing with this one i'm going to attach it um i'm going to attach the link where you can actually download all these answers in our comment section so here team what you'll be actually doing here it will be just the same as we're actually doing here but i've actually add a code actually to print where you actually print the value of j so here on our data i've actually put this one the ask z type and then which is a string so i'm going to print that now j is equal to then i'll put the value and then i'll print the slash n so that you can print the next uh new the next character on a new line so after that what we are going to do here this is the simple logic that i was actually explaining and then from there uh we are going to do a cisco 4 to print uh the to print out a string so whenever you want to do a cisco uh you need to load the value of the cisco of the cisco in a, in a register v0 and then here it is going to print something which is in a0 so we are going to load the address using this uh instruction load address in a0 so we load the address of output here our output is now j is equal to so we load this in in uh, in, in our register a0 and then we do cisco and then we do a cisco here we print out this string and then after that we do a cisco to print out an integer which is a cisco one so we lead, we load one uh in our v0 and then we load the value that we want to print which is the value of t1 here we want to print the value of t1 which is the value of our uh of our j right so we will print the value of t1 so we move the value of t1 into a0 or we copy the value of t1 to a0 and then we do a cisco and after that we will print we do a cisco 4 to print a string where we will be printing new line this one and then from there we increment the value of i and then we will loop after that it will actually terminate so i am going to assemble this and run so i will assemble let me clear my and then i will run here so you see team it is going to print out the values of j from 101 up to 201 which means these are 200 values so it will print from 101 to 200 so this is the uh the equivalent code of the for loop in what in a, in a c language uh, or in a mips programming so we have actually converted the c code into what into mips so thank you for watching this video team you can actually send your questions on the email provided below we can do them also you can donate to such a line academy using the links given uh on our channel page uh, so that you can actually buy the equipment so that you can grow this channel thank you for watching this video to the end also do not forget uh, to subscribe to this channel if you are new thank you